Today we're going to be creating this super fire paper texture effect that was used in the brand new Lucky Music video. We're going to be creating this completely digitally, so if you guys want to download the assets we use for this, they'll be for free in the description below. To get started, what I did was I brought the paper texture from the music video inside of Premiere Pro and cut it out using the pen tool. Once I had my mask with the pen tool, I right clicked, hit make selection, and filled it in with a paint bucket. Once we had our cut out, we're going to get started on texturing it to look like paper. First what we did was we clicked on the eraser tool and we went up to the mode and changed it to square. Now what we're going to do with this is get little paper accents that are to look like ripped. We're going to do this all around to make it look as good as possible just on the parts that we can. Now once that was done, we went back to the regular eraser and just cut out certain areas just like this just to add some texture to it. Then you want to double click on the layer and turn on a white stroke around 10 and make sure it's on the inside. Now what we're going to do after this is we're going to go up to filter, go down to the store, and then we're going to put on ripple. We're going to set our ripple to 100 and size to medium, hit OK, and it's really going to distort those edges just like paper rips would look. Now next, we're going to go into our music video and find a clip that we want to use. I found this one right here, and we're going to take a screenshot of the first frame of the clip after for the transition. Now, once we had that screenshot, we brought it into Photoshop and we got started on our creation. You want to move the star over to your subject and put it on top of where you want it to be cut out. I then held control and clicked on the little image box right here on the layer. And what that does is fully selects it. I went down to the image, hit select inverse and deleted, which is going to delete everything except the selected area of the subject on the image. Now, what I then did is put it on top of our object, went down to the subject layer, rasterized the layer style. Then you're going to go ahead and select the red area and delete it just so we have the white outline on top of the image. Now it's already looking pretty clean, but we can make it look even better. What we're going to do next is merge both of them and then go over to filter displace. And we're going to mess around with this until we get it to our liking. We're going to be using a displacement map, which I'll have linked in the description below for completely free that you guys can download to use on your projects. Once you put this bad boy on, it adds a lot of texture, but I think that was a little bit too much. So I did it one more time at 15 and 15 and we got a cool look just like this. Now to spice it up a little bit more, I'm going to throw on a paper texture from Brian Deli Mata's paper pack. I'll have that linked in the description below. I highly recommend it. There's so many assets with so many uses in that pack. Once I found the one I wanted, I brought it inside of Photoshop, resized it to our liking, and did the exact same thing as earlier by selecting the area of the image, right clicking, and then just cutting off everything except that. Then I went ahead and played with the blending modes and ended up on screen. Then I added some noise to the image to really give it that printed paper look. And then I turned off the black background and exported it as a PNG. I then brought it into Premiere Pro and lined it up exactly from where it would start. Then I made a cut every three frames, which gave us four different clips. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to each one of these clips and play around with the motion, put it in different areas and playing with the exposure as well to make it brighter and then come in. So after messing around with it a little bit and playing around with each one of the frames, we ended up with this. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. I'm gonna be uploading every single Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Let me know what videos you guys wanna see in the future. Peace.